Hey everybody, it's Infinite Drift and welcome back to Imperial SMP. Now you're probably wondering why I'm standing in front of the moss shop that Block and I built a couple episodes ago. And well, it definitely has to do with the boots that I have on my feet right now. So since I fell for EC and go number four's dripstone prank, I've had to wear these drippy kicks around until I prank somebody else with dripstone. So I think I've been wearing these boots for long enough and it's time for me to pass these down to somebody else by pranking them. And of course, my target for my prank is gonna be Block using our shop. Is it evil? Yes. Do I feel bad? Yes. But is it going to be really, really funny? Yeah. And also, you know what? My feet hurt wearing these boots and they don't smell good. So I think it's time that we pass them on to somebody else. So Metricate and I will be executing this prank together, which is really good because I'm gonna need all the help I can get. All right, with all that, let's meet up with Met and get started on this. Yeah, so the plan, the idea that I've got is for those that have watched Dream's Minecraft uh, manhunt, there's a sign trick that you can do to make the, whole, the floor fall through. So we're going to be using that method and we're going to be doing it to the entire floor. So all it takes is for us to just get rid of these and dig down to, let's say, diamond level. And then I can set up the trap up here. But yeah, it's going to be a, a long process trying to dig down, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> so when we eventually get blocked down, I think what we should do is let's change the interior a little bit because I think the only issue we're going to have is him potentially being on one of these, you know? So I think we need to completely knock out those chances and make sure he's stood on the floor that's going to fall in. Oh yeah, we totally need to secure it so he falls no matter what. Time to dig straight down to diamond level. <laughs> awesome, let's do it. Stop, stop your time-ups as well. Whoops. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my no. God. <laughs> Grab my stuff, grab my stuff, I'll be back. I've spawned a bunch of stuff in different chests. Awesome, thank you. You've got everything for me. Yay, thank you. Right, now that's over. Um, yep. We need to actually test if this is going to work. At least set a test run up. I'm just going to temporarily fill this in, just so I've got something to work with. Okay, so. This is how it's going to work. Sign's gonna go there. Then I'm going to attach a bunch of signs to that there. And then the signs need to be attached to these ones. So essentially what's going to happen is gravel is going to be on top of that with moss carpets, which is gonna be the new quote unquote floor. And then with that, it's all gonna collapse once you hit that sign and block exactly. down. It's gonna exactly. go bye-bye. Yep, pretty much. Bit of a slow process, but it's gonna be worth it. Oh, totally. Patrick Kate, what is wrong? Dude. Oh my god. Okay, you know what I need to do? I need to bring my bed with me so I respawn because this is just like. <laughs> you have a bed in your inventory. Do I really? Yes. <laughs> okay, so pretend you're block, okay? You, don't worry, you won't fall anywhere. It's fine. Yep. Works? Yep, works perfectly. Okay, awesome. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> It is an abyss down there. It's oh my gosh. <laughs> like it's overkill, but it's so funny. This is definitely OP. Oh, 100%. Wow. It hurts to place. <laughs> I can see you. What's up? Can you see me from there? Yeah, if I optify and zoom, I can. Yeah? Yeah. I can. Hi. Uh, on my way. Ugh. Okay, I'm out. Okay, perfect. So if you start placing moss carpet on top of these, he won't suspect the thing. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. I can't wait to get him. I, I mean, think that should be okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, this here. This is ridiculous. Uh, oh, one there. Make it look a little bit pretty. There we go. I think that's job well done. So now we just need him to uh, come online so we can get him. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yo, Yo what's, going what's going on? Oh, wait, I can oh, hear wait, myself. Can hear oh, can you? That's really weird. That's so weird. You might have to just be used to that. I just got a Go XLR, so my audio is just really, um, I'm still figuring it out. Ah, alrighty. So, I'm gonna have to take off my armor. Basically, I just want like a couple of shots of us together in front of the shop. Okay, nice, So, nice, nice. just stand right 
here. Yes, boss. And I guess just like look towards my horse. And let me see if that's good. That should be okay. Here, can you look off this way too? Oh yeah, it's rare that I'm in my uh, I'm not in my right skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Alrighty, now I guess we'll go into the shop as well. I made a couple of changes though. So. Oh, there's so many leaves in here. Damn. I'm so oh sorry. I'm so Jeez. sorry, dude. Oh, I'm so so sorry. Unreal. <laughs> Hey, Brock, for being a good sport, for being a good sport about that, I'm going to give you the profits that I just had from my train. It's only four. Yo, I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yep. The boots. Oh, the yes. Nature. Here's the official <laughs> boot ceremony. I no longer need these. I am now free. I'm sorry I had to do this to you. It had to be somebody. And thank you for oh. being such a good sport about this. And now I have to wear them. You have to wear them until you drip check somebody else. Someone's getting it big time. Oh, hey, totally. I'll give you a drip down. Thank you. I need that. <laughs> I need a golden apple in a celebration. <laughs> hey. I hate you both. Actually, you know, you know what? I have no right to even throw a punch at you after what, yeah, I, after right. what my, we did. My business partner as well. <laughs> I know. Unreal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of all people. Oh, so you good, guys though. are the worst. I know. Anything about who to get now. <laughs> All right, we are finally free from the drippy kicks. I'm so sorry, Block. It just, it it had to be you. But regardless of this prank, please know that I still love you. All right, now that we're done with that prank, we are actually moving on to something completely different because the holidays are quickly approaching. Brooke and I are actually gonna set up a little bit of a secret Santa booth in the town square. So anybody who wants to sign up and swap gifts with somebody else can just drop their name in a box and then they can pick out a random name that'll be dispensed. So with that, let's go meet up with Brooke. Hey. Hi. <laughs> wow, look at these candy canes and this present. Yeah, I decorated, do you like my tree? It has a mini box on it. <laughs> Oh, I love for it. Christmas. So yeah. ornamental. <laughs> it's very nice, very festive. So, um, I really love all of your decorations, and I think you've done a really good job. And I was wondering if Thank I could you. hire you, possibly, to decorate my base. Ooh. Oh, that's funny, because I was thinking of doing something like that, but I haven't actually advertised or anything yet. But I would love to. That'd be awesome. Well, I'll give you a horse girl discount for this. Really? How about a diamond per thing? So, a diamond for a tree and a diamond for a couple of gifts here and there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I will take it. <laughs> we'll say that's that's we'll say that's 50% off. <laughs> Jeez, that's a good discount. That's awesome. Yeah, well, <laughs> benefits of liking horses, you know. It's, Truly. It's the benefits yeah. of being passionate for horses. When you love horses, the world gives you things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it just makes you cool, so. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Do you want to go to your base and, like, tell me where you want things? Yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. Should we All take right. our... Oh, okay, we won't oh, take our path. We'll just... <laughs> Full disclosure, my base is a true hot mess right now. Like, I'm, like, redoing okay. stuff. I'm trying to get my storage settled, so I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. What I was thinking you could do for me is I really like some of the spruce trees that I have here, so maybe you could add some ornaments to them and maybe add some snow around the area. I would definitely love to have a couple of these spruce trees decorated. Even if you want to customize them a bit, make them taller, give them more leaves, that yeah. would be cool, too. And Okay. And I have one more task that I would like from you. It's a little bit of a challenge, okay. I guess. Not Ooh, a huge okay. challenge, but I would love to have kind of like a garland across this part of my roof here, right underneath the top oh, window. Yeah. And you can have yeah. maybe some icicles hanging from there, some snow. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. Okay. Just make it look yeah, all festive. I can do that. Cool. A garland, some tree decor, and some gifts. Do you want the yeah. gifts anywhere in particular? If you could hide my uh, storage mess over here, that would be great. Oh, of course. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> so it'll be functional as well. And so, of course, the other thing that we're meeting up about that we talked about, is we'd be doing a secret Santa on the server. Yep. So, um, yeah, do you want to, like, head over to the shops and we can maybe, like, sort out what we're going to build exactly and how we're going to make it work? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. Let's go. 
I consider this like kind of like the square of like the town, but it's just kind of an like awkward portals, shape. Yeah. That's the problem. We got like horses in a pit. Yes. <laughs> we have like not <laughs> much. You know space what? <laughs> this is horse cruelty. <laughs> we should actually. <laughs> we should have made a video about that. <laughs> I mean, here it is. Yeah, here it is. It's the video. Free they're the free. horses. <laughs> I think they're now they're wild. They're free. <laughs> free to roam. Yeah. Alright, the secret Santa booth has been built. I love the way it turned out. It looks so cute and I honestly had such a blast building this with Brooke. So sign up was pretty simple. We basically just had a bunch of paper in one of these barrels and people used the anvil to write their name down on it. And then they just placed it back in one of the barrels. So once signups were closed, we basically just put it in a dispenser and this should dispense a random name for who you are going to be giving a gift to this year. All right, so with that, I think that we should press the button on the dispenser and see who we get. All right, who is it? Me. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. So I'm going to put it back in <laughs> and I'm going to see who else I get. All right. Ooh. All right. So the person who I got for Secret Santa is going to be a secret. I'm going to let you all know who it is in the next episode when I actually give them their gift. Just in case they're watching this, I just don't want there to be any potential spoilers or anything because Secret Santa is of course supposed to be a secret and that's the whole fun of it. However, I would love to know who you think that I got and if any of you have any cool gift ideas. All right, everybody, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. We accomplished a lot of stuff today, and I'm so happy. We pranked my business partner. Brooke and I built this really cute stall. So with all that, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.